My name is Lindsay Wallace, for those of you who don't know, and for those of you who do, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm kind of, not kind of, I'm doing something different. As in different as in like, I, I don't know, just different from what you've usually see, you know, usually see me cleaning and stuff. But today I've already done all of that stuff. Actually, I'm already home from the gym. I'm showered, my face is washed. The only thing left for today is to cook. However, I'm on my nighttime escapades and I decided that I wanted to make some bread because we have probably, Craig was making a sandwich earlier. Yeah, we don't have a lot of bread. So Craig was making a sandwich earlier and I realized, damn, we're gonna need some more bread because this is all we have left. But we have $7 in the account, so. <laughs> I want to save that and wait until we need it. Like maybe I have to buy a chicken or something instead. I'd rather buy chicken than buy bread, especially if I know I can make the bread. So I was thinking like, if I'm about to see her make bread, maybe you guys want to see it. Who's texting me? Oh, my brother. So my grandma bought me this bread machine. Ew, and the top of it is disgusting. Look how dusty it is. <laughs> I have to clean that. But I also need to find where to plug it in. Um, let me clean it first. <laughs> I shared this thing on my story on Instagram. Also, follow me on my Instagram if you're not following me already. But it said I either dress like a baddie or like Adam Sandler. Because I do I either dress like a baddie or like Adam Sandler. And my brother texted back. <laughs> <laughs> or he replied to my story, whatever. He was like Adam Sandler for sure, which is absolutely right. Adam Sandler, homeless. That's my preferred look. I just like to be comfortable. I just really like to be comfortable. So if there was ever like a mom dad look, I guess that would be my normal everyday look. I gotta clean the inside too. So I would clean this. And I mean, I'm gonna sort of clean it, but I'm gonna clean it the way that my mom does. I actually grew up on fresh bread. My mom bought like store-bought bread, but my mom also makes bread and she makes like buns. She likes to bake, my grandma likes to bake, they both like to cook. So that's why I cook a lot and you guys see me cooking a lot and baking a lot. It's just what I grew up around. So it's, I don't know, it's just normal to me. It's what I like. Anyway, when my mom is cleaning her good pans, like her baking pans, she doesn't wash them with soap. She kind of treats them like her cast irons and Stuff. All she does is kind of like removes any of the big trunks, which is what I'm doing now is just Crisping up something. I guess I just didn't do before and she throws that away And then she just gets a paper towel and some oil and wipes it right away. Just hope I don't make a mess Let me do it over the I just need literally just a little bit We're gonna put this back in and it has like a little, oh, I should clean that too, huh? It has like a little fin, like a beater, which sometimes gets stuck in the bread. It'll be done baking and then it just gets stuck. But did I say, this is my bread machine. I, don't, I think I already said that, but that's what this is. This is my bread machine. You know, you've heard of kitchen aids and all kinds of other things. I didn't even know this existed. And me and my grandma will have conversations, long conversations on the phone of things we saw on Amazon, things we dream about buying, things we're going to buy, things that are in our cart. You know the deal. So that's what me and my grandma do. That's what we talk about. And for whatever reason, I guess the topic of bread machines came up and I was like, wow, I didn't even know that was a thing and she was raving about it you know telling me how great it was whatever so we got off the phone yeah and then i woke up a couple nights or a couple mornings later like maybe two three mornings later and you know amazon it's like a day or two shipping depending on you know what you've got and well they knocked on my door the amazon people which is typical though because i do usually order a lot of packages not right now but you'll get to know me more as far as the i like stuff i do like stuff but anyway anyway and tea wait they knocked on the door and i was like hi how are you oh hey we have another package oh, okay cool i grabbed my package i closed the door it was kind of heavy you know, I, was like, I don't think I ordered anything heavy. So I opened the package and it was this, it was this bread machine. So I called my grandma and I was like, hey. And she was like, yeah, I got it for you. And that's me and my grandma's relationship. Basically we talk about something and if she can do it and if she wants to, which is usually, then I open my door and it ends up being right there. And I'm like, wow, grandma, thanks. So this has gotten some use out of it, not a whole lot, but it makes decent bread though. Anyway, let's, let me stop talking all this hot garbage get into it this is my cookbook it's well my bread machine cookbook but it's called my bread machine cookbook it's called the bread lovers bread machine cookbook by beth hensberger hensberger my grandma bought this for me also let me fix the camera just a little bit oh my god my 
heart is palpitating. Is that the word? I don't know, but it's beating so fast right now. Oh, baby. Listen, I know you felt that. The shake, that rock back. Y'all fell. Woo! But look how far. Like, look, look. Look, and the only reason why you didn't break your ass is because of the light right here. That's the only reason why you didn't break your ass. That light caught you, but okay, yes, that shit caught you. Damn, ah, <sighs> that was a very scary moment. All right, so we're just gonna make sure that it's in the right spot. Uh, anyways, yes, my cookbook, and we are making honey white bread. And we will be doing some substitutions in this recipe. So when you put your ingredients into the bread machine, you put it wet to dry. You don't mix anything, you just put that shit in there. And that's the best part about this thing. The first thing we need is a half a cup of water. Well, no, our, we're gonna make the two pound bread. So we need two thirds a cup of water. I'm waiting for it to level out my seventh grade or sixth grade. I forgot when it was, but I took home ec. Yes, yes, yes. I'm old enough that I had home ec in school. I realized that a lot of you children don't have home ec anymore. But if you do, I mean, by all means, please correct me and comment below because I feel like home ec is very necessary. People talk all the time about how they didn't learn to budget and they didn't learn different little things. And I mean, I can't say I learned everything, but I did learn about budgeting. I even learned about how to understand how to set up my house. Like she made us take a floor plan and we had to figure out how to set up the floor plan according to dimensions and everything. It was really neat. But in that home ec class, we learned a lot more than cooking and a lot more than sewing. So I feel like home ec might need to come come back with a vengeance. I think that's what we should be arguing for. Because if they taught it in my home ec class, and I'm assuming it was a standard in home ec classes, so really the problem is the defunding schools. It's not that they never taught us. It's just that they put the money into other things and took away our orchestra, our bands, our choirs. They took away our dramas. They took away everything. They took away home ec. And so what happens is that children lose a giant fundamental, I would say, standard in their education because now now they don't have any musical or artistical exposure. And then on top of that, like everybody's talking about and upset about, they're not taught about how to budget, about income, about taxes, etc., etc. And I don't think I was taught taxes in home ec. Uh, I don't know, but it's definitely something that could be discussed and also included in an updated program. But don't quote me, I'm not a superintendent or anything, just, just Lindsay. It's just all right, that's about two thirds of a cup of water. Pouring that in there. Where's my can opener? Bro, me and Craig are gonna fight. I was about to call him. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay, so Craig has this bad habit of like, so I told you guys before that he likes tuna and he'll take like a can of tuna and it might need a can opener. And then he'll take the can opener also so that he can open the tuna later. So then I'll get to cook him and need the can opener and can't find the shit. You know why? Because it's sitting in his lunchbox with him at work. Oh shit. He's calling me back. But anyway, I was gonna call him and be slightly annoyed and definitely assuming. Hey, babe. Oh, what's up? Yeah, for no reason. I figured it out. Oh, All right, love you. <laughs> but anyways, we need milk. I don't have milk. I have evaporated milk, which is sort of the same thing, except for every however much. So like if it asks for half, half a cup of milk, or if it, asks, yeah, if it asks for a half a cup of milk, then I have to do, oh shit. I looked this up and now I can't remember. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. So basically, if it's asking for, let's say a cup of milk, then I should do half a cup of evaporated milk and half a cup of water. So it's asking for two thirds a cup of milk. Oh, fractions, how I hate you. You give me PTSD. I don't know what half of two thirds of a cup is. What? Yeah, half of, oh wait, one third. Right? I don't know. I'm gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna eyeball it. It's gonna be okay. Great. So two thirds of a cup is right here. You see it? And that's two thirds of a cup. So we gotta go about half of that. I think that's half, right? That's half. Okay. Now we've got milk. 
no longer evaporated. And we pour it in here. Next we need canola oil. I have vegetable oil. Not a lot of vegetable oil either. Oh good, I only need a couple tablespoons. Craig was the last one to put away dishes and so he puts my baking stuff in the wrong spot. Which I'm thankful for him putting it away regardless because if it were up to me, it, listen, it might sit in that dishwasher until he gets used again. So I'm not complaining. Well, I guess I was complaining, but I'm thankful is the point. Ooh, three tablespoons of some honey. You know, because we put the oil first before the honey, the honey is just like gliding out instead of me having to like scrape that shit out of it. That's awesome. It's good to know. Like if I ever have to measure honey again, I'll wipe it first with like coconut oil or something. Coconut oil because coconut oil is like naturally just a little bit sweeter and then the other oils coconut oil is what i would use if i was making pancakes because pancakes are breakfast are a little more sweet and so i use coconut oil three and three fourths cups of bread flour hey google is hydrocortisone never mind Okay, so Coda has this like little, stop messing with it. She has this like little, I don't know, I guess rash that's forming and it's itchy. And I think it's from, she. her skin is like sensitive. And I think it might be the food that we're giving her because the food is what affects her skin like that. So I'm just putting, like I said, some hydrocodone there to help with the irritation. So she'll stop because she keeps like, stop, move. She keeps like itching it. And this hydrocortisone has aloe in it. I also have some tea tree oil that I've been putting too. Dang, Koda, you're really getting yourself good. You gotta leave her. Let me bandage it up. Oh, I didn't know we had some mole skin. It's good to know. We've got some um, freshly worked calluses coming in. Well, they're blisters right now. This brings back so many memories, back to like when I used to sprain my ankle all the time and my mom would wrap me with one of these uh, bandages. So I'm wrapping it because I feel like that's gonna stay better on her than like if I taped it, you know, because like her fur. And also it'll make it a little bit harder for her to like take off and get up. And if this doesn't work, I got a cone, Coda. I'll put you on the cone of shame. Ow, I pinched myself. Okay, Coda. There you go, all bandaged up. Let's show the vlog. My Coda girl, all bandaged up. <laughs> now you can't mess with it, huh? Now you can't mess with it. Oh, you're my good girl. Oh, you my good boy, boy. Oh, you my good goody, goody. Oh, you max. Okay, back to the bread. Clean hands, clean hands, clean hands are open hands. Anyways, uh, how much? Three. Three fourth cups. This is, yeah, bread flour. Okay. Do 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 do. Where's my cup? La 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 la. La 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 la. La 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 la. Do 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 do. When I was in middle school, I think it was middle school, or maybe high school, like freshman year, I used to sing that all the time to be annoying and it worked <coughs> excuse me so i don't have a three-fourths cup cup i just have a one-fourth cup so we're gonna make three scoops one and a half teaspoons of salt what well, says two and a fourth of saf yeast hey google what's saf yeast on the website medicinenet.com they say Sapphism, female homosexuality, what? named after the poet Sappho who lived hey, on Google. the Greek island of Lesbos. Hey Google, that's, that's not what I asked at all. Oops, what was your question? I asked you, what is SAF yeast? Hey Google, what is SAF yeast? Here is some information about SAF Instant Yeast. SAF Instant Yeast is one of the top selling yeasts worldwide. No need to proof or dissolve SAF. Just add along with your other dry ingredients. Use in any recipe calling for active dry yeast, artisan loaves, pizza, oh. sandwich okay. bread, bagels, hey Google. rolls, and- Thank you. You're welcome. Less than pleasurable experience, but I do have active dry yeast. I just wanted to make sure I had the right yeast. And there's, it's already like pre-measured. This has two and a fourth 
teaspoons, which is exactly what I needed. Set crust on medium. Oh, well, I guess I have to plug it in first, huh? So set crust to medium, it's on medium. And program for the basic cycle. So one, medium, two pounds. Now it's in there and we basically forget about it for the next three hours and it'll just be done. It's eight o'clock now, so it'll be done one in the morning. It's fine, but it needs it. It lets it rest, it bakes it, everything right there in that little thing. I don't know how much it was. I'll try to find one on Amazon though and link it in the description box below. But I'm also making some steak. Got these little, they're supposed to be like fake filet mignons. got my food i'm really excited to eat because i'm so hungry yeah yeah my mom was telling me that i say that i'm hungry a lot in my videos and if my hunger concerns you just know that i'm also eating and satiating it so it's fine it's okay it's okay to be hungry if you're also eating in return um well i can't watch netflix because i didn't pay for the account yet but I can watch Hulu. What am I gonna watch? Let's watch Grownish. <laughs> this part's making me cry. <laughs> now, I'm fortunate enough to have a few new brothers and sisters join me in this fight. <laughs> Oh shit, look, even the principal. Shit like that always makes me emotional. I swear it does. I just, I'm the kind of person where like, I'll always do good by you because goodness and kindness are the most important things to me. I feel like being a good and kind person are really important attributes to have. And I'm one of those people who go out of my way and also tends to get taken advantage of sometimes because I will be very generous and nice and kind with people. But along with that, I have a strong urge to want to put goodness back into the world because like it's not hard to be a good person. It's really not. Or maybe it is and that's why we don't have as many good people i mean there are a lot of good people don't get me wrong it's just there's a lot of bad people also and sometimes the bad things that happen are so big that it makes it feel like there are more bad people than good people so maybe that's what i mean but anyway, this is such a powerful moment because look at them just standing up for themselves in a place where like they could lose everything. They're, they're about to graduate from college. <laughs> and instead of like coming up for their degrees or whatever, they put on orange jumpsuits and they stood up and, and they did the opposite of what they needed to or what they were supposed to do. And I just love that. I love that so much i love when people go against the grain there's a lot of things that we're not supposed to do and there are a lot of things that we weren't supposed to do before and it took people going against the grain to make a difference you may be in the military and think you might not be able to like speak up but the thing is is like they're telling you you can't but like you can you're just not supposed to but if enough people do it that's how change happens right Change happens by going against the grain. I mean, Rosa Parks wasn't supposed to sit in the front of the bus, but she did, right? I mean, she says because she was tired, but like she went against the grain and that's how change was created. And things like that, I really appreciate. I really do. Or even like, I don't know, I just, I appreciate goodness. Goodness, I appreciate it makes my heart float and flutter and stuff. But also I'm a crybaby for like sad things too. Anyway, <sighs> these burps. Let me finish eating. All right, y'all, so I finished my food. I'm just brushing my teeth real quick before I get into bed. I'm not like going to sleep yet. I'm gonna stay up and edit a little bit. It's, what day is it today? It's Wednesday and I post Friday. So I still have to do the rough cut. I basically haven't started the video at all. The usual.
but it'll be posted on time because the difference between this video and the last video that I did which or I guess two videos ago by the time I post this one but my monthly reset routine that's what it is that one I posted late but that's because like I decided at the last minute I was gonna do that video so like I thought that I could record and edit record and edit then have it done by Monday and I started it like recording and editing on Saturday clearly there was not enough time goofy it was a day late but it got up there but Fridays will be on time because it's already recorded and then this one will be Monday's video So I don't need to wash my face because I literally just finished washing my face. I just came from the gym. Like I came from the gym, I showered, and then I decided to vlog and I started cooking. And now we're here putting Vaseline on our lips. Mm -hmm. You know what's crazy? So I haven't really been losing weight lately, like in numbers. Well, I guess I just ate, so it probably isn't the appropriate time to weigh myself. Yeah, it wasn't the appropriate time. It's a big number. <laughs> but anyway, my goal lately has been to lose weight. I actually haven't been losing any weight. <laughs> I actually gained weight at one point, but I was still like looking slimmer so if you guys are on a weight loss journey i just wanted you guys to know that it, it happens that if you're like lifting weights and stuff that you might see yourself or even just exercising in general you might see yourself gain a little bit of weight but like you look like you're getting smaller and it may feel confusing and maybe even a little bit disheartening and discouraging but just know that that's normal what that is is it's muscle you're gaining muscle girl and muscle it's a little heavier well it doesn't weigh more than fat it weighs the same as fat it's just that the size of one pound of muscle is smaller than the size of one pound of fat sometimes people like mistake that anyway you're gaining more muscle and the muscle it's smaller and it's taking the place of your fat and even though it's smaller it's still like the same weight so you're gonna get like a lot of muscle and it's gonna weigh like however much anyway the point is is that it's normal for you to gain a little bit of weight while you're trying to lose weight but still look like you're slimming down actually right now I'm losing weight again so I had gotten up to 222 and even getting slim and stuff but i was gaining muscle so i got up to 20, 222 and so now i'm losing weight again and i'm down to 216 i think this morning was 216 hey friends so i've been editing the video so I've been editing the video that I'm posting Friday and I knocked off like an hour. It's like four hours worth of footage. It's four and a half hours, but I knocked off an hour and a, an hour and a half. I started to close off the video. Well, I did close off the video earlier. I just, obviously I'm not gonna put it. I closed off the video earlier forgetting that we were making bread and obviously that you wanted to see it when it's ready. So I'm gonna stay up obviously till it's done, but I can see smell it and it smells good so let's go check on it oh it's like done basically it has eight minutes left okay yeah. this is eight right i'm not checking it's eight minutes all right y'all boys okay <laughs> that's what my brother says actually that's what my stepdad says also <laughs> comes into the house what's up y'all boys <laughs> anyway the bread is ready that's why i'm being obnoxious right now trying to trying to get it out no, I can't put you guys over there because I'm not wearing pants. Mm, look how good. It looks so good. Yep, the little paddle is baked into the bread again. Here goes our homemade bread. And it actually looks really great. Look at it. Yay! Look, that's where the paddle broke. <laughs> Where the paddle baked into the bread, but yeah, that's what our bread is looking like. I think it has to cool. Let me see. What does it say? Yeah, it says you have to let it cool to room temperature before slicing. It's hot. I love when I make bread because it looks so perfect. Look how cute it is. I'm in love. Yee. All right, you guys. Now that our bread is done, now we are at the end of the video. I might go and edit a little bit more, but it's 11.30, so I also might go to bed, which means tomorrow's going to be a busy day. It means I'm going to be editing all day, but at least I don't have to film or anything tomorrow. Anyway, if you made it here to the end of this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell notification to always stay in the know and up to date on all my videos when I post them as soon as I post them. Make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment. Let me know how you're doing and how your day has been. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your evening and I will catch you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Bye!